preview of German Bundesliga 1 and 2 as I promised on oh back on Tuesday so they played from Friday through Monday and now the games are uh, are played and we're gonna have a look at uh, what happened and once again obviously I'm not so well prepared once again but uh, results had been painful. Uh, where is this? This one here and the, um, okay. So, okay, we started uh, with the Bundesliga 2 because Bundesliga 1 was not playing like three, four weeks ago. Can't remember really, we did okay. Um, Next time uh, Bundesliga 1 started doing okay, I didn't do anything in the Bundesliga 2. And, and uh, now we had, yeah, this is this weekend, right? From here uh, down to here. Starting with Köln. So, uh, as I said, the only one bet I really liked was Werder Bremen, and they also lost. So, and I was somehow predicting that, promising that, that I mean, uh, we, we may spot we had a good bet, but we may still lose it. Anyway, we look at the quality of the bets first of all, and um, of all those bets and we can also of course have a quick look at the games themselves and, and um, uh, try to remember what happened uh, also by stats but also by uh, what the memory tells us and in Köln we had here I was taking down the quality and we were in plus two I think uh, yeah mm. so quality had been okay but Köln now what do we see here we expected them we can make that one a bit bigger mm. we expected them to be more than one goal behind still we were doing okay with the plus 125 how did they play they were just 0.34 goals behind so that it was a lot a lot a lot better than expected so we can hardly have any better bets than this one. So I was perfectly right with Köln, although I said I do not like this handicap especially. And what happened in the game? I mean, we had 70 minutes played and Köln were winning 1-0. So what else can you hope for if you got an under and you got an underdog winning after 70 minutes? So it can hardly be any more painful than that. I mean. You're perfect. I mean, one nil. What can happen? And what did happen was Dortmund scored this one goal. Jaden Sancho once again, well done. Okay, but it was not really on the cards, so it was a bit lucky. But okay, you can always say that's the sign of uh, some higher class or so. They know when crunch time and so on, and then they score the goals. And okay, they've done that. One one. Now, okay, you, you of course after 70 minutes, there's enough time to play. I can't say that, uh, but then it went until minute 86 that uh, Köln did hold on, then Dortmund scored the 2-1, which makes both bets just half winning, because under 3.25 is half win, and uh, plus 1.25 is also just one, uh, half, a, half a win. But now what did Köln do? They went all in, they went forward, and I was predicting that. I mean, this is a scenario, very, very typical. This is like an oil painting of, uh, I mean, the, the nicest picture you can get of uh, the, the classical example, you can say, right? Because Köln opened completely up, and you can say, you can see that coming, but there were five minutes uh, injury time indicated, so, and, uh, after four and a half minutes, they went all men up the pitch and they were in the area and they had their chance. And then the ball 
was almost going out. I don't know if it was, if it crossed the line, I don't know. But there was one uh, Köln striker who said desperately was trying to keep the ball in play. What else can he do? I mean, if there is a goal kick, that's 30 seconds gone and that's just 30 seconds to play. So would he try desperately to keep the ball <laughs> inside, uh, uh, in play? And he managed, or he didn't, but, but the referee didn't uh, show it. But what he did was uh, an overhead kick, so to say, and he passed the ball on to Dortmund. Uh, um, yeah, <laughs> well, they instantly built up three men uh, across the uh, halfway line. And uh, so it was 10 seconds to go or so, and then they scored the 3-1. But this was three units gone, because you have half a win, half a win, and afterwards you have full loss and full loss. So that's uh, like three units gone right? with this one goal. And you can't blame anyone. This is the character of the game. They are not um, sharing your needs, because you want them not to lose by more than one goal. And they said, it doesn't matter if we lose by one or by two, we want to equalize. And uh, so we lost that completely, but it definitely was a good bet. And also the total goals should, so we've got a good one here, so I can at least enter this one here. And we got a, a good one here as well. And this is, I mean, yeah, one such game, I mean, you can say, okay, I can take that and so on. But actually, well, what I tend to say is, I do not want this money back or something like that. And I do not, do not want this luck get returned or something like that. I just don't want it to happen again. And then it does happen again. Or it doesn't. You know. Anyway, we did have a good bet. We lost it. Why is it plus one? Plus 0.1. It was a minus one. We lost this one as well. The only question we can we can ask here is, was it a good one? Now we can check here. 1.3, 1.78. They played 1.14, 1.45. So I can only say it was a good one. I mean, of course here you can argue. And anyone that says, okay, that's uh, your, uh, what do you say, sand in the eyes. I mean, you, you do not look properly. You can't see properly. I can uh, do that. Leverkusen did score three goals. They were winning after, well, somewhere in the first half. And then maybe they, they really took the foot off the gas and uh, slowed down a bit. Okay. Um, I, so we could count that as neutral as well. I'm going to uh, count my way, but it doesn't matter anyway if you lost it. I mean, then now you can still say, uh, okay, now you're, you're uh, flattering yourself somehow. You have yourself, but I'm I'm uh, honest enough to say that Bach did win the game, and also here I could argue because I said okay they were not the worst side. Stats would say so, but and in the end they they had the uh, they had uh, something to to put on or something like that. But I would not argue at all. I say this is minus one bad quality. It wasn't it wasn't really their game. I mean yeah no no I was not happy. That of him, this was like the best bet, right? We we could have had, because this was all Werder in the first half, and you can hardly hardly argue. I mean, they they got as much as as I expected, so uh, only Hoffenheim did have less, and uh, we also lost the player there. But all of a sudden, I mean, how can you lose such games? It can happen. Everything can happen. But now, okay, tell me the games when when we are winning this. Right, the, 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 you got the wrong side, and all of a sudden they start scoring goals. And here it was not, not just that they scored two goals out of the blue and were suddenly winning. No, no. Dada scored an equalizer, which was disallowed. And I mean, compare these two handballs. Now we got the, the uh, Manchester City goal disallowed when no one of the, the Tottenham defenders even. Um, uh, were, were uh, tell me what is the word for that? They didn't uh, say anything. They didn't complain about this this goal uh, being scored, or, or they were just unhappy or something like that. But they didn't say there was a handball involved. 
that was uh, a Man City striker and he may have touched the ball, but compare this handball that he did with all the defenders that they got their arms here and there. And, and it's never, never a handball and not VAR, no inter intervention. And here they say, this Werder striker, I mean, first of all, you see that he's being pushed and maybe then he did touch the ball with the, with the arm up here, but he was rather fouled than, than he was allegedly uh, using his arm. But <laughs> then he scored the goal, so the goal stood. And then the VAR intervenes, because he said, well, after he had been pushed, he may have touched the ball with the arm. And now oh, this, we can't allow this goal. So, and it was not just that this goal was disallowed for no reason at all, just silly VAR. And I'm not saying that as a better support or because I support, I would, I would always say that. Anyway, uh, and then this striker, some minutes later, he was sent off because, because he was frustrated that all of a sudden there are goals disallowed for no reason. So he may have taken him down. Okay, I, I wouldn't complain about the red card, but what I would complain about is uh, the decision before. They still, with with 10 men, scored the 2-2, only to lose after 88, 89, something like that. So this is, I mean, it can hardly go any worse than that, because you get so much uh, the better side, even with 10 men, they were very okay, so that's just silly. Now we look at uh, Schalke uh, Bayern, and we had an excellent bet. I mean, we couldn't be closer here, and we, we I mean, this is like <laughs> Köln Dortmund, it's also as good as Hoffenheim Werder, it's we simply I was on the right side, so it's another good one, but uh, we lost it, so that's just silly. It's uh, especially these handballs. I mean, three handballs, uh, one after the other. And then you say, well, he's not gonna award a penalty after the third one. You can tell that already. I think there was a fourth even that I noticed, but uh, now now it becomes ridiculous if they start complaining, right? Now they say, now you gotta give a handball. And then the referee says, well, now you're just complaining, now you, you complain about everything or what. I mean, mm, uh, and, and then you wouldn't give it, but, <laughs> I mean, you couldn't, <laughs> couldn't be any clearer. I mean, in the, when the free kick, and this guy, mm, how can I show that? I mean, <laughs> can't do that, I'm always moving the wrong direction. But anyway, he, he's done like that, I mean, there, there are photos on the internet and so on. I mean, I could, I could uh, show, show that here. When uh, this arm was, was <laughs> let's say, because he was with the back to, to the ball. So first of all, it doesn't matter because the ball was directed towards the goal. But secondly, if so, if you with the back to the ball, you can do anything, right? You're a goalkeeper. Because if you touch the ball with the arm, no, well. And this couldn't be more obvious, could it? I mean, that's just ridiculous. I mean, and he's stopping the ball like that. So what more can you argue about that? It is just ridiculous. And here Schalke really deserved this one goal, first of all. And then, so it was a very good bet. And this would, would have been one, two. And let's, let's see what happens afterwards. I mean, Bayern can still uh, step up a bit. I don't know. So this under was a good one. The Hoffenheim Werder, I think, was a terrible one. No, it was a good one. Sorry, uh, no, that was a different game. It was a really good one. Um, Augsburg Union, yeah, another one. We lost the over. I mean, here you could argue, okay, that's bad. I mean, we can check that here, right? That's two seven six, and we got an over uh, two point five, right? So we check that here, that's 192. What was the price we had? That's 193. So it's actually a good one. I count it neutral because that's uh, too neutral to count it good. But um, anyway, you, you, there was nothing wrong with that one, right? And um, especially here what happened was the last minute and Union were in the area and the long ball coming in, and the striker, you know, he, he was torn down. I mean, it was more than obvious to everyone that could work. I mean, he was just uh, brought down. I mean, what more can you say? Defender torn down. 
but no intervention. But they all said afterwards, well, there was a clear penalty. Why didn't you say anything? Because he never says anything about when, when a penalty should be on. He just turns them off. Anyway, mm, so it was neutral. Uh, but then in the, uh, when, when Augsburg had the ball, the same de defender, more or less, who was a striker, Finn Bogosen, who tore down this defender and should have, uh, well, there should have been a penalty for Union, when he had the, the chance to score the 2-1 on the other side. And the goalkeeper oh, just got a touch to it. So anyway, so we, we lost this over, but in this last minute at least, we could have won it and it was neutral, so I wasn't right, I wasn't wrong. Anyway, I mean, then you need this kind of luck. Here we couldn't be closer with the over-under in, in, in uh, Leipzig, so it was another good one. But we also won it, half of it. So it's just ridiculous. I mean, here you, you can't get any worse results. Lost, lost, lost. Just this single one, and that was the bad one, really. And in Bundesliga 2, it was pretty similar. Um, um, sorry.